We're talking last night what went down on The Real Housewives of New Jersey. Danielle Staub is getting married, everybody. Yes, she's not going through a divorce, but in reality TV, they start from behind and then work their way up. So <laughs> we're going through, we're no we're going, we're going through the, uh, the whole getting married thing right now on the show. And so, of course, you got to have a bachelorette party, and of course, it's got to include strippers, right? Does it? Male strippers. Take a look. <laughs> Oh my God, if this were me getting married and Joe had ever seen me behaving this way at my bachelorette party, <gasps> there would be no wedding. <laughs> That's pretty up close so, and personal. Melissa right? Gorga right there adding her own two cents, saying that her husband, that would never happen. Yeah. I don't know. I think that's going a little too far. Should this be allowed? I'd see no problem with it if that were my fiance getting see thrown where around. His face was. Yeah, it was a little bit of Yeah. It, but it's pretty <laughs> guys. It's, it's how that goes. Yes. I, look, I, I am shocked that you guys are shocked. Really? That's hey, like so he, close. Yeah. He was clothed. Yeah, I, I see he no was clothed, issue. But he never gets clothes off. I feel like you should have a sign a waiver before you do that, <laughs> or say not. like, "This is what I'm comfortable with." Because like, I don't know, if I was getting a stripper, I'd think they'd just be like cute and sexy and dancing, and dancing. around, not like putting their head there. Yeah, well, okay, that is not stripping okay, these days. Okay, you're, you're, you're right. It might have been next level, but the whole idea of. If I, if I call my fiance and say, hey, bachelor, my bachelor party, they've got us going to um, a strip club. Are you okay with that? I'd expect her, I would hope for her to say, sure, just behave yourself, which I would for sure. But that should I mean, be allowed, right? Yeah, you're allowed to go. It's And the strippers can stand there and strip, but don't strip me of my future marriage. <laughs> yes, girl. So I, I, it, it's too much for me because I don't like people in my personal space already. Like, even this is a little close. I know. So, sorry, Jordan. Jordan's really, like, up on it. <laughs> <laughs> like, Where you guys want me to go? I'm so okay, like okay, earlier. Listen. So I don't really like people in my personal space. So it's not for me, but I don't think what happened in that video was, like, too much. Really? It's too know. much for TV. Well, I mean, the only thing I always I thought was too that's much. That's what happens at stripper parties. The only thing I thought was too much, I was worried about her breaking her neck if she fell. But <laughs> no, in terms of, like, chair? in terms of heck? violating a, a relationship, I don't see anything. Mm -hmm. Harmon, and I think if you pick somebody to spend the rest of your life with, you trust them. This is just one yeah. of those kind of uh, kitschy things that, that is a tradition. I know we don't like traditions anymore, uh, right. certain ones, because they're bad, but this is just a fun thing. It's kind of like yeah. a mark of, you know, your your bachelor, bachelorette life being yeah. over with, and you're crossing over in a different So our table just needs to be like entertainment and not yes. like getting involved in it, right? So like watching it, whatever, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't want to like forbid anyone from doing what they want to do on their bachelor or bachelorette party. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but I just think like as long as the line isn't crossed, you have to kind of like lay down what that line is. Maybe what you have stripper to have parties have you been to? Like they mean? just danced? They just danced. That's that they all did? they did. I, I've never been to a party where that's happening. <laughs> mm. I don't, you know, mm. I'll, I'll be I'll be fully honest. I'm not a big fan of strip clubs, but I also don't see a harm in them for a mm -hmm. bachelor party type scenario because it's all just guys having fun. As long as there's respect on both right. sides, the men okay. being yeah. drunk but respecting the woman who's dancing in front of them, and that woman respecting that that man is in a in a serious relationship. Right. As long as those boundaries aren't crossed, I think it's just guys having fun. And I don't see any problem with it. Let's I don't be know honest. If strippers care about that. I think let's they're gonna be like, what can be, I do to get be, this money? Let's you be know, really what? honest though. When you when really? you go to the club nowadays. Some of these people that you're looking to hook up with anyway, and the single people, they ain't too far off from being strippers and how they're behaving at the dance floor anyway. <laughs> Which parties do you go to? I, I don't go to any anymore. That's the whole thing. There's no, there's no part of that for me. I'm just not going to talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I just right. can't believe So we're split down the middle then of this table. I, no, yeah, I'm kind of neutral now. Neutral? Yeah, so we I know. Oh, so I walked you right away, and then we watched the video, and I was like, oh, wait. Right. Okay. So you don't want your guys to go. Are you, that's, is that no, what they, you're saying? They can go. They can go. I just prefer that they don't. <laughs> okay, so we're a, little, we're a little bit split on this one. I got another great question for you guys right here. This one I'm really curious to hear. What side are you going to fall on? Do you think you can live without your smartphone for a day. Well, if you think you could for a day, how about a whole year? Mm. That's right, vitamin water is what a bet that you can't do it. And I happen to be with vitamin water on this. The company is challenging one person in 2019 to see if they can live without a phone. If they get to six months, you get $10,000. One year, you get $100,000. Be totally honest here. That's it? Could you do the six months? <laughs> no, that's, that's too little. You need to give me $100,000 for the six months. And you think you could still do it? I mean, can I use my boyfriend's phone? No, no, no. you're technology. You're, you are phoneless. How I call Uber? Well, it's a smartphone, <laughs> so you Desktop. gotta use like a, a little a phone from the 90s. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so I'll have a phone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, 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 you're not using oh, any no, phone. no, It's just no. not smart. Mm -hmm. 
You can use pigeons. Uh, I would do that. I would do that in a second. I went out with a, I went without a phone for a year when I was living abroad, and no, get was, out of here. It was you inconvenient for sure, but for ten thousand dollars for six months, one hundred percent, you could do, do it. that. Yeah, mm. you just so, have to rearrange your life. Like the thing that I think would annoy me the most is not being able to have my notes app because I like to just like keep a lot of lists of things. Okay. You just find mm -hmm. another way to do that. You just go old school and get but like see, that's a paper and a pad. Yeah, that's right. the, so, I, I already do that. Oh, I think really? it would be really healthy, and I think it would rewire your brain. Yeah, I would love to do it, but I think in reality it would be very difficult. Like, I think it's easy for people to say, oh, sure, I could do it, but, like, think about how much we use our phone. First of all, I don't know how I'd be able to do my job just because right. our job requires us to have access to our email, and we're constantly on it at all hours of the We'd day. We'd have to talk to people and ask them questions. <gasps> we I'm sorry. we got to talk to people. I'm not, even, I'm not even trying to make an aggressive <laughs> statement here. I think anything short of $500,000. I don't know if I could do it. Oh God! Look, look that at, is the, ridiculous. at the end of the day, yeah, like I would uh, trust me too. Like a hundred thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars goes a long way. I just don't right. know if I'd have the discipline mm, to be able to yeah. do it. And, and it, it's one of those things. I'm ashamed to. I might sit up here proudly saying, "You better pay me this much." I'm saying, I'm a loser, guys. I need my phone. I don't know how <laughs> I feel to get like by without it. You would get used it. to it after the first month. You would. I think you would then just sail through. But you know, mm. like you got to change your life. Being yeah. a parent, like I have a son, like. How am I gonna get in touch with him? Like I have to wait till I get to a landline. I, hey, just do no... you ever go on vacation and like leave your phone in the room? I love doing that, but that's a week. Like the whole yeah. thing about this is this is why these tech these tech companies are so massive. That's why they're making so much money. That's why if you want to move to San Francisco, you're paying an arm and a leg. Jordan, they... Jordan, guys, I got a challenge for you right now. Oh my gosh! I'll do it. Uh -oh. Jordan, Jordan. Uh, I'll do it. Can we do it? This is a locked box. Hi, we won't ask you. You're a guest. You know you're new. It's okay. Thank you so much. How long are you, how long are you holding my phone for? Just the rest of the show. Is oh, there yeah. like insurance? Okay, Is there a it. waiver? What happens if you lose it? Felicia, I'm right here in studio. Oh, wait. Hold on. You Somebody know Felicia's text. always got the question. The I know. My mom and well, mom. Look, she's got to send text. All right, pay up. Pay I don't have my phone with me. My, That's how much my phone is. We don't have ours. You see, look at us. Look who's got the phone over here. Love you, mom. She's got our phone. Oh, my gosh. Chris, I have to send it Wait, can I just put a house on It's over. It's over. Go ahead. I, I am going to lock up this box. You better have the code yeah, to unlock that thing. Yes, in the show. We are going to be checking Unless in. I'm getting $10,000. Where's your phone at? Why is yours not in? I'm in the challenge. <laughs> oh, it's just you guys. Well, we have 50 more minutes yeah. to go. We'll All see. Right. We'll be checking in. Can they do it? Don't yep. shake my phone. So you heard what happened. Sorry, Management's sorry. got $1,000 for us. And yeah. So, no yeah, money, no that. money here. Just, just, just say you can do it. Yeah. One hour money. Starts now. I better at least have a Starbucks cart waiting over here.